I think I have found my first angel coin. Hope it's not too windy. I have. I think that is some angel money. Numulite. Ow, oh, and I think I have just spotted another one. I have. Oh. <laughs> some coins. Some angel fairy money. There is another big one. And I think I've spotted some tiny ones. Here are three tiny ones. Maybe that one's not completely round. Yeah, look how many I found already. And there's one right under your feet. Oh yeah, there's one. Yeah. So here you go. This is what we're looking for. Here is some angel coin fairy money. Oh, they are beautiful. Aren't they? Wow. Okay. <laughs> I need to find one. That's my first one. Here they are everywhere. Look, here's another one. Another one. And another one. Oh, there's loads of them. <laughs> the tiny weeny ones, they won't pick up the tiny ones. Another one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. You just have to walk and there's... Look at them all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Is that one? Is that a piece of mud? No, it's mud. <laughs> okay, there are some really tiny ones that I'm going to collect for the doll's house. <laughs> How tiny they are. A little bowl of tiny angel coins. In the doll's house. That one is ridiculously tiny. That's a nice one. <laughs> beautiful. And look at this beautiful shell. <laughs> oh, I'll definitely use that in something. Tiny shell. Ah, this is cool. We need shells. For all our doll's house crafts, tiny ones. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> I'm supposed to be looking for the fossils, not the shells. So these fossils are called numulites, and they are disc or lenticle shaped fossils with a complex system of internal chambers arranged in a coil. Numulites are the skeletons of a single-celled organism that resembled the amoeba. They lived on the seabed around 50 to 25 million years ago. And this beach is a little different as the fossil bed is under the sea opposed to in the cliffside, so the fossils actually get brought in by the tide instead of being eroded out of the cliffs by the tide. In the past, numulites were known as angels' money and slave lentils. These fossils have been found in the limestone the Great Pyramids of Giza were built from and people presumed they were the petrified remains of the food belonging to the workers who built the pyramids, hence the name slave lentils. The word numulite derives from the Latin word numulus, meaning small coin. They are associated with folklore and money all over the world. And then look at that shell. Little bowl of 
angel coins. Look at this incredible shell. Look at where it's been eaten. It's a really nice one. It's really round. That's beautiful. Another tiny one next to it. <laughs> and another tiny one. <laughs> and another one. These ones could be in the doll's house. Oh, they look tiny, tiny ones. I can't even pick them up. Yeah. <laughs> We'd be a bit too small even for the doll's house. Loads, there's tiny, oh, tiny, there's tiny ones. I've got look, some there's really tiny ones for the dolls. Though. Yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> and look, a tiny shell for the box. Cool, I've got a couple of those. Oh, oh more shells. Some sort of boring animal, like a, I don't know, some sort of worm. <laughs> it's a very cool hole though. Biggest one I've found so far. You can see why they were called Angel Coins, can't you? There's a dark one. Ooh. There's loads here. One here. One here. One here. Big one here. Oh, tiny one. Oh, another one. Oh, another one. It's like a trail. Oh, another one. That was a nice one. It's a thin one, that one. Is that one? Buried? Oh, that's a big one. Is that mud? No, that's mud. <laughs> Another one. Of them, isn't there? Yeah, same here. <laughs> oh, that one looks good. It's so beautiful, and you have to get show the macro. I said because they've got like beautiful patterns on them. Yeah, you can't really tell because they're all sandy. Oh, look at that one. Oh, you just love fossils. Oh, look at that bubble in the water. Look at the water. <laughs> it's different to be on a beach where there's nothing man-made. Oh, you found a tiny piece of sea. I found a tiny, tiny piece of crazy sea glass. <laughs> in Hungary, these coins are known as Ladislaus's coins. 
Saint Ladislaus is considered to be the greatest ruler there has ever been for the Kingdom of Hungary. There is a tale that whilst fleeing an opposing army, the Hungarians scattered gold coins on the ground to distract the enemies, in hopes they would stop to collect the gold coins. Landislaus then asked God to turn the coins to stone. Thus the legend of Landislaus's money was born. People would later find these coin-like fossils and believe they were the gold coins turned to stone by God. That looks like a really good one. Wow, they're so beautiful. Definitely, I didn't bring the macro lens. Definitely to show you under the macro lens how detailed they are. And there's a tiny one above it. There's also a stone that looks like a heart. Shell. Tiny one for the doll's house, slightly bigger one. Loads of shells and a tiny yellow one for the doll's house box. Oh, some really adorable tiny ones for the doll's house box. Oh, absolutely everywhere. A tiny one. There's one over here. Look at that one. here. <laughs> so much history to these. So much folklore. Would you just say they were like 10 centimeter amoebas? Yes. Amoebas. The largest single celled organism. In the pyramids. <laughs> They're just everywhere. And a tiny shell. Feels like the tiny shells do. In the UK, people believed these fossils were fairy coins, the currency of the fairy folk, because of how small they were. Whilst others believed they were angels' money. to pick up the bigger ones now. <laughs> Looks like that's going to be a good one. Oh, it is. Quite a lot there, isn't there? There's quite a lot, this isn't even all of them. Bags of coins. I bet they'll be getting lovely cleaned up with all yeah. the sand off of them. I think what we could have bought in Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> that one looks beautiful. Oh. That one has that one has a pattern. I wonder if you can see it. Looks like an excellent one. It does actually look like a coin, doesn't it? <gasps> wow! <gasps> that is the best for sure. And you can see you the can ridges. You can actually see it the... now, yeah. Can you see the ridges oh, around yeah, the edge yeah. to look like Even a coin? Even my eyes can see that. It does look like a coin. That's beautiful. No, that. No, no, where did it go? <laughs> there it is. 
so that's what we're looking for okay so there is a lot of folklore and history surrounding these and it's very interesting it's from ancient Egypt to Belgium to Hungary and here in the UK so we will tell you all about that see any around here no really That is the one, that's not the one I was... Hello? Uh-oh. There it is. Get out of the sun. <laughs> How do you do that? I haven't done this once. Oh, there it is. Ah, there you go. Grab it then. And you have found your first little numulite. Your first... Yeah. Angel coin. Here, right? Yeah. Oh, nice. That's a big one. I've done it then. <sighs> Let's see. Is Amazing. That, that is one, yeah. See, that's that the thing. I uh, can't see from your thing. Yes, that's the thing. Once you spot one, they're everywhere. Just here. Oh, yeah. Double, double numby light pickup. Nice. <laughs> well, there's another one. And look, there's one over here too. one and then there's a couple of big ones this one is broken but I don't mind and then this one and luckily this beach is littered with them so we can take as many as we'd like more oh, now you like they're everywhere it does look like a unicorn horn doesn't it that shell oh, you picked up. There's so many of them. I know they're absolutely everywhere. So, oh, catch it. So obviously our Numulites are a lot smaller than the pyramids, the Great Pyramids Numulites, but just as beautiful. So we are going to walk back looking at some shingle, but I think we have probably gathered enough Numulites to last us a lifetime, do you think? Yeah. It's like a bag of coins or chocolate buttons. Well, that was our trip to look for Numulites, which is such a cool name. <laughs> um, but rich folklore. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, we, I'd, I'd read about it, I'd done some research and found that beach, and I was expecting maybe one or two if we were lucky. And then it turns out the entire beach is absolutely littered with them. Yes. They do look like money. They really do look like see, coins. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed. We have already been to one of our regular mudlarking spots and found one of these. Yes. <laughs> and we didn't we didn't really ever know about them. I just happened to come across them whilst doing some folklore research and yeah, so I imagine they're actually sort of everywhere. Yeah. But we just 
didn't know what they were. So yeah, it's very exciting and we hope you enjoyed. So yeah, that is another fossil to add to our collection. Um, tomorrow on our crafting channel is an exciting film. We are going to be making the cook for the kitchen doll. And then on Thursday, a very exciting film on yeah. this channel. So we hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and thank you again everyone for everyone that likes, comments and subscribes and donates. Yeah, it means everything. So we hope you have a good rest of your Sunday. Bye! Bye.